Welcome. Let's address the issue of completing the square in solving quadratic equations. And I want to explain what completing the square literally means. Well, actually, we can say it right now. A square, geometry, we want to make it complete. That means we have a partial square, we want to complete it. All right, this all comes from solving quadratic equations. And some quadratics are very easy to solve. Let's call these the level zero problems. For example, x squared equals nine. You'll have no problem solving that. One would just say that x is three or negative three in algebra. Or if you want to solve x squared equals 25, piece of cake. x must be 5 or negative 5. Or w squared equals 42. OK, you're not liking me. I've changed the variable name. That's not a problem. 42, not a very nice square root. But w would have to be the square root of 42 nonetheless. Or possibly it's negative version, negative square root of 42. So these level 0 problems are a piece of cake. Nothing deep here. Let's change to a level one problem then. Let's just go up a notch in difficulty and now solve something like x plus one squared equals 25. Well, if you think about it for a moment, so this, is, this is not too hard. Something squared is 25. That means my something must be five or negative five. That is my something, x plus one, must be five or negative five. Well, let's now subtract one throughout. x must be four or negative six. Not too bad. Let's try another one w minus 2 squared is 64. Pretty easy. Something squared is 64. My something, my w minus 2, must be 8 or negative 8. Adding 2 throughout, it tells me w must be 10 or negative 6. Or even if the numbers are awkward, we're still fine. z plus 3 squared is 10. Something squared is 10. Whoops, z plus 3 must be root 10 or negative root 10. Subtracting 3, z must be root 10 minus 3, or negative root 10 minus 3. That's particularly scrawly, sorry. All right, grand. I think we're ready to go up a level. But before we do that, let me just rewrite another one of these problems on the board, and then show you the level 2 problems. Here goes. Let's change colors too for fun. Solving x plus 2 squared equals 16. Not too bad. Something squared is 16. x plus 2 must be 4 or negative 4. Subtracting 2 throughout, x must be 2 or negative 6. Here's my level 2 problem. I'd like us to now solve x squared plus 4x plus 4 is 16. Suddenly it looks scary. Indeed, this is a combination of x squared and x terms and then some constants floating around. It'd be wonderful if one can realize that this problem on the right is actually this very same problem on the left in disguise. Well, let's see. It is. This is a square. Let me get the geometry into it. If I were to literally draw a square, this is the square of side length x inches plus 2 inches times the side length x inches plus 2 inches, which means I've got an x squared piece, I've got a 2x piece, x times 2, another 2x piece, x times 2, and 4. And look at that. There's the x squared piece. Two x's make the 4x here, and that 4 is the 4. So this problem on the right really is, indeed, I can see it, x plus 2 squared. That's what the left is, equals 16. So the solutions are indeed the same as we had before. 2 and negative 6. So these level 2 problems are going to ask us, can we recognize when is a problem really a square problem in disguise, that is a level 1 problem in disguise? Let's try it out. Let's play this game. So I'm now giving us level 2 problems. Here goes. Let's try solving, whoops, this is my pen, x squared plus 6x plus 9 is 49. Now, is this really a square problem in disguise? Well, let me, let me set myself up by drawing a box. I'm hoping this is a square. There is going to be an x squared piece. There it is, which must come from x inches and x inches. There's going to be a six, x, six x, x's coming together, but they're going to come from two pieces. Now, if it's symmetrical, these are going to be two pieces of the same that combine to give me 6x. This must be 3x and 3x, which means this number at the top here is something times x gives me 3x. This must be 3. Ditto, this must be 3. 
which means my final piece of my square is 3 times 3 is 9, which is exactly what I've got. It's all hanging together. So this problem on my, on my left here is really the square x plus 3 squared in disguise, and that equals 49. So solution is x plus 3 must be 7 or negative 7, x must be 4 or negative 10. Grand. Let's try another one. Whoops. Uh, let's solve x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals, mm, that was a good number, 80. All right. Now, I've got negative numbers here. In geometry, negative numbers don't make sense. You can't have squares of negative side length and so forth. But what I'm going to do here is play the same game. The algebra behind the geometry is exactly the same. So even though my square is going to have negative lengths, it's still valid in terms of algebra. So my question is, is this really a square in disguise? Let's find out. So I'll draw my box. There's definitely an x squared piece. Let's deal with it. x squared must come from x inches and x inches. Now I want two pieces the same. I want to be symmetrical. They combine to give negative 4x. Must be negative 2x and must be negative 2x, which means this number up here must be negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And down here this must be negative 2. Which means I want in this final piece of my square, let's complete the square, that's what I'm really doing now, making a complete square, to be negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. To which I say, drats, I don't have positive 4. I have positive 3. All right, what can I do? Well, we can be adult about it. If something is presented to you that you don't like, you can fix it. You can change it. I'd rather this 3 be a 4. I can make it a 4 by adding 1. Now that's completely changed the question. I better keep the question the same. If I add 1 to the left-hand side, keep it balanced, and add 1 to the right-hand side as well. So now I've really got the equation x squared minus 4x plus 4 is 81. And now I love this because I went to all this work to show that x squared minus 4x plus 4 is really a square in disguise. It's the square x minus 2 times x minus 2. So right now, if x squared, x minus 2 squared is 81. That's a level 1 problem. Easy. x minus 2 is 9, or negative 9. Whoops. So x must be 11, or negative 7. So even if things aren't a perfect square for you, go for it. Make it a perfect square. Take, take, take the bull by its horns and, and get it to be what you want it to be. That's called completing the square. Let's do another example. Da, 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 